All right, I'm not gonna lie. This video makes me smile solely because Boo is getting dropped. But before any of that, I gotta talk about this. This man Goku tosses the airing and look at this, bro. Yeah, he don't care about the earth at all. I know people get on Gohan's head for not catching this, but we gotta get on Goku's head because what is that aim? And before y'all say, you don't even got that type of aim though. Then what happened on Namek? This man is on the ground, injured. Throws the frog, perfect lead pass right there. Intercepts the body swap and turns Ginyu into a frog. Come on now, that's a generational talent right there. Goku's like me in my prime, bro. I was out there throwing dimes in gym class. Come on now. But those days are over. I moved on to better things. They put my jersey up on the rafters, number 23. Stop the cap. <laughs> But anyways, there's one more thing I gotta talk about. This man Goku and that damn earring. The way he just kept trying to put it in the frame is crazy. Just look at this. Oh, let me in. That is crazy. And the next one's about to be crazier. Look at this. So Goku jumps over the attack. And look at how they make him turn oh. before getting hit. Yep, they're making sure we see it. This is yeah. equivalent to people getting a new tattoo. Maybe taking photos, making sure we see the ink every time. Yeah, but anyways, let's skip to the fusion. So Vegeta puts on the earring and they turn into a living VVS. Just look at how they're glowing. Another person that turned into a living VVS was Cell. And we saw what he did to that boy Vegeta. Turned bro into a puzzle piece. Look how he fit in the ground. But hold on, this man started punching and kicking the air. That shit was a little too fast. I know Boo was feeling nervous. But here comes disrespect number one. This man Vegito turns into Aang and throws straight air at Boo. And oh... No, nah, no way a gust of wind is giving you a wound like that. You might as well pack it up and go home. But here come disrespect number two. Vegito taunts him, motions him to come over. Guess what Boo does with this 3 million IQ? Yep, oh fly straight to him. Gives that guy a map. Vegito easily dodges him, puts the bottom of his shoe to his face. And I just want you to think of that whole sequence right there and know that he is trash. But Boo spins the block, pieces him up, kicks him into the ground and hits him with the key blast and starts smirking. You know he was feeling himself after that combo. Look at that stupid face. It screams, oh yeah, I showed him. But anybody watching this knows he didn't do shit. Matter of fact, it's revealed to us that this whole time this man Fujito was just standing there with his head down and eyes closed. I swear these anime characters be in their own world thinking they in the edit. Just like this dude, he in his own world right now thinking he moving at light speed, but he's not. That shit is literally normal speed, he just moving his head. My man thought he was going crazy. So after all that warm up stuff ends, Fujito started getting a little serious. Gives Brody a 30 piece combo with the biscuit. And look at Boo right now, my boy got violated. Took both of his legs, plus the future Gohan. Oh no. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, this shit had me cheesing. I was looking like SpongeBob. But here go Boo Bruh. OP ass regenerating everything. I'm just sitting here wondering why did Toriyama make this character? This up, up, down, down, left, right, cheat code ass bitch should have never made it out the drafts. Honestly, if you take away this man's regen, he would have to have a new career, would have been a professional LA fitness player. This man's days of villainry would be over. Peep how locked in he was when he was giving this man the business. Last time we seen somebody like that, it was Cell. Cell was spamming Goku with them right jabs, and all you could see in his face is pure hatred. Shit was accurate too, he was 100% on the headshots. And that's exactly how Fujito looked. That boy <laughs> hitting that man boo with straight precision then he uppercuts him and now it's time for him to cook up he gives him the most delectable three-piece combo he starts it off with a toe piercing oh. kick had brody stretching like luffy then he bops him in the face and look at this man Fujito. he's a villain his damn self come on bro one look at him and you know you're about to commit devious and nefarious acts yes officer that's him the man that's about to violate takes Die. boo's face out the frame just look at boo right now this is some of y'all's favorite villain who has ever looked this contorted only boo the good thing about it is you never have to ask him what happened one look at his face and you already know Oh, and I forgot to mention, the way this man Fujito was trash talking is outrageous. Throughout this whole fight, bro had that Larry Bird type of trash talk, the one that made you rethink your life when you get home. Matter of fact, think of a disappointed father, Ozai, the way he was talking to Zuko, calling him a disgrace and a disappointment. Yeah, that's Fujito. Anyways, this man Fujito knows how to ruin a moment. You know how villains be having that I'm about to destroy the earth moment, like Trunks with Frieza, Cell with Gohan, and then they just be staring at the attack unfazed. That's exactly how Fujito was. Boo was like, Hey Vegito, you better move now. I'm finna boom this earth. Yo, weak ass not booming, booming nothing. nothing. How much you wanna bet? Shit, shit I, I got, got five, five you don't. don't. Make that shit 10. Also, what the fuck is a Vegito? He throws it, confident as hell. I found this in the deleted scenes. This man was brushing off his shoulders, watching as his attack is slowly descending down. And we know Hercules somewhere in the background shaking right now, scared as hell. Vegito looks at it and is like, this weak shit. Kicks it away and is like, where am I 10 at? And you know Boo got no money because he just spawned in. And this is the part where he starts going crazy. 
I'm talking we gotta drop the V and the E and focus on the G. We calling this man G though. Get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? What? No. Nah, but he really was exposing this man, Boo. I'm trying to tell y'all that man, Boo, is a fraud. So, so you, you really, really don't, don't have, have my 10? Mm -hmm. No, I don't have your 10. Damn, because you, you broke? broke? Yes, because I'm broke. Oh, oh wow. wow. Just, Just like that? that? Not, not even gonna argue? argue? Not, not even gonna, gonna lie? lie? No. Damn, Damn. Tell, tell you what. what. Since your weak ass doesn't have $10, I'll, I'll give, give you a band. band. If you hit me. Boo must have not wanted any bread because bro did not land a single we, hit, but we, hold up now. We. I'm gonna give this man credit because look at the character development here. I'm actually proud of him. So Vegito teleports we. and has his back turned to him. And pay attention to what Boo does. He remembers what happened last time he dealt with somebody having their back turned to him. And as a result, he flies away from him and I couldn't believe it. He actually fights his Patrick Star DNA and learns from his past. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's the only good thing he does cause it all goes downhill from there. So Fujito kicks him and I'm weak. Why does Boo wanna be handsome Squidward? Look at him. Lame ass bubblegum bitch. But yeah, his nose was bleeding. And Fujito says, wipe that shit off. You're a disgrace. And I'm just watching like, oh no. Why he violate him like that? And honestly, if somebody talks to me like that, I'm just letting my nose run. You're not about to come here and tell me to wipe my nose. You're bugging. Who do you think you are? But the crazy thing is Boo didn't even hesitate. He listened. Yeah, getting sun like that is wild. Vegito sunned him just like how Thanos sunned Iron Man. This shit is embarrassing. Boo was getting cooked so bad he tried turning into Zabuza. Bro said hit and missed. Thought that weak shit would work. But Vegito goes into the smoke, starts wilding on him. And when he comes out, you just see bro with mad injuries from head to toe. It's just like, damn. Who the villain? Vegito throws Boo to the ground and he hits him with this move. I don't even know what to call it. But he's basically like, and the good Lord said, Arise, my son, arise, and you shall be healed. Ah. Yeah, he turns Boo into a selfie stick. And guess what he does with all that anger? All that shame he's feeling right now. He decides to liquefy himself and. Oh. Yeah. Fuck no, baby. Fuck no, baby. <laughs> we not doing that, bro. Just know he's a weirdo. Why would you even do that? Here Vegito's dodging we, this we, man's we. attack. And then he gives this man the knee of hell. I, Look at his face, bro. Oh my God. And this right here is crazy. Man said, <laughs> had bro's face looking the most fucked up we've ever seen. And while he's falling back, he pulls whatever that is and gives him a biscuit. And yo, the way he had bro yelling was insane. I'm looking at the screen like, yo, I'm watching straight torture. So at this point, his street cred is in shambles. And this was a small moment. Who is he commanding? Bitch. Bro forgot he has no motion. Vegito tosses the piece like and booms it in you. front of him. Hat bro clenching his fist. Now he gotta keep that shitty cut for a bit longer. All right, and now I get to talk about Boo being trash for one last time. Cause not gonna lie, he turns into a straight demon after this. Even my hidden ass can't deny that. But yeah, he turns Vegito into candy. And look at how ecstatic he is. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was GG. But then Vegito <laughs> makes Boo hit himself. And now it was time to let Vegito cook. And he did. This man hits him in the gut. Then the jaw. Then he stomps on him. Nah, getting stomped on like Mario is crazy, bruh. It's gotta be the most deserved ass beating in Dragon Ball, cause Boo really tried to cheese and ends up losing. And I'm not gonna lie, that be me in video games sometimes. I be hopping on a cheese and sometimes I still be getting dropped off. It's like, damn, I'm that sorry? And that gotta be exactly what Boo was feeling. Had him feeling like Zuko had that shame on him. Shit got so bad that he turned this man Fujito back into a human. Is that not crazy? I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot a part, but I'm not going back, so it's just gonna have to be here. But we gotta do a moment of silence for the people that have the goldfish attention span, cause they definitely ain't make it here. When this man Fujito elbows and knees him, he also teaches this man how to fight. He's sitting there telling him, don't rely on your eyes. Boo is trash.